So the test is finished. We got 1867. That's base mark 3.0. Is that good? I see other numbers here for this is a Ryzen 9 7900. Um, 22,000, 2200. So that's desktop. That's running Opera though with Chrome. Again, I guess you get a match. We're using uh, Microsoft Edge here. Anyway, let's look at the uh, device. Let's take a look at the device manager <clears throat> and see what we got here for. So Lenovo 83HM. It's a Western Digital SN740, one terabyte SSD. Display adapter, ARC 140V. Firmware, keyboard, monitor, neural processor, AI boost. I don't think the software is out yet to support these features, but they might come in handy. Not so much chat GPT 4.0 running on this, but micro AI applications, I suppose, in time to come. Anyway, so far, the experience with this is really good. The, the keyboard, uh, it, it feels like it has a bit of a almost rubbery, but not very rubbery. It's not a hard plastic. It's more, yeah, it's more of a soft matte type plastic. The keys are not smooth in that you don't see a reflection on the keys. You definitely see a reflection on the screen, that's for sure. These are all the updates to perform. One thing about benchmarking computers is like I did here, I, I benchmarked this, <clears throat> yet I still have all these updates to perform. So the, the computer's not in a stable state. I just wanted to run something. I've installed Windows on many computers over the years, and pretty much every time when it's starting up, the fans are going, it's making lots of noise, and then it settles down and the computer is fine. This computer, I've yet to experience it whipping up the fans, creating a lot of noise. And again, even when running this, when, when running this benchmark, it didn't make any noise at all. So, so far, our initial impressions is really good, are really good. Yeah, the USB... A on this side and Thunderbolt 4 so I can charge either on the left or I can charge either on the right. So you see it charging, but there you can see the charging indicator is on right now. Yeah, so far the impressions are very, very favorable on this computer. I got it for about 1675 Canadian, which would be about 1200, 1180 in, uh, in US dollars. And it's the one terabyte SKU with the uh, Windows Pro. Yeah, it's, it's quiet. It feels, it's kind of like the Snapdragon notebook. It's everything the Snapdragon notebook should be or is without the incompatibility issues. So as I had mentioned earlier, I purchased a Lenovo Snapdragon Yoga. I returned it the next day because of serious compatibility issues. The uh, Qualcomm and Lenovo and Microsoft really oversold the compatibility of the notebook. And for that reason, I returned it because some software wouldn't run, in particular Eclipse and Windows services for Unix would not e even install. And that's a Microsoft product too. So that was surprising. Over time, it might get better, but at the moment here, we have all the things that the Snapdragon says it will deliver today, and it won't. We have all those capabilities in a computer that is 100% Windows Intel compatible. It's pretty nice. Very nice. I think I might sell my Dell XPS 9720 and get myself one of these. This is for my son for school. Again, you're going to get 15 hours or so of battery life. That's pretty, pretty useful. Anyway, I'll do some more work on this later and come back with an update 
uh, to this early first impression of this notebook. But so far, definitely thumbs up from me. Bye for now.